glad that you're here. My name is Cassandra and this is uh, our 60 minute flow. And um, for today, all you'll need is your mat and your amazing body. And if you have some blocks, you're welcome to bring those in or a stack of books or a blanket or a towel, whatever you need for padding. And um, let me check this angle really quick. There we go. All right. Just want to be sure that we get everything in. Okay, cool. Um, so we still have about a minute, but we'll get started shortly. Um, for today's practice, um, I know a lot of us are beginning or starting the process of re-emerging back into the world. And I know that we're all taking it at our own pace. And um, today I thought it'd be a great opportunity to connect to our center. So we can connect to our center on all levels of our practice. So we'll start by centering our mind, um, coming back home to ourselves, bringing our attention to our breathing and coming from a calm, steady place. And then we'll start to tap into the strength of our core to strengthen our middle so that we move from a place of stability and strength and integrity. So that's what's happening today. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. We're actually gonna start on our backs today. So find your way onto your back. And if you have the playlist, um, let's go ahead and pop that guy on now. And settle onto your mat. Your spine rests, your shoulders rest back. Onto the floor, onto your mat. Go ahead and bend your knees. Take your feet out, uh, uh, maybe a little as wide as the mat or a little wider than your hips and let your knees knock together. And you can place your palms onto your navel center or towards your lower belly, or you can relax your arms down by your side. So yogi's choice there. Once you get settled in, let's take a collective breath together to get here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Add a gentle sigh out your mouth. And one more like that. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly and your lungs. Then exhale, let it go. Then close your eyes and rest your body. Begin to breathe in and out of your nostrils. Bring all of your attention onto your breathing. Then direct your attention towards your navel center and allow that to be the landmark for your breathing. As you breathe in, you feel the navel lift up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, you feel the navel retreat back towards the ground. Continue to cultivate a steadiness in your breathing. Soften your jaw. Relax your tongue. When we come from a place of center. We come from a place of steady stability, connection, drawing in those qualities. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a big exhale out your mouth. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. Heel toe your feet towards each other and hug your knees in towards your body. Give it a little hug. Rock gently from left side to right, massaging the lower back, the lumbar area. 
Hold right in the center. Go ahead and drop the feet, point the knees up to the sky. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. Doesn't have to be completely straight, but the leg is lengthened. Flex your toes back down towards your shin bone. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh, right at the hamstring. Press the leg gently in towards the seam of your hands as the seam of the hands gently presses back in towards the thigh. If you want, you can keep your left leg bent or you can elongate your left leg out onto the floor. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. You can bend the elbows a little bit and draw the thigh in gently. But take your time, especially if it's your morning practice. And slide that left knee back in. Place the left foot on the ground and create a figure four here, crossing the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Lift the foot and interlace your hands behind your left hamstring. You can also move it towards the shin if, you're, if that's available. We're starting to wake up the outer right hip. Settle your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Doesn't have to be your biggest stretch. We're starting to wake up the hips. Release the left foot. Stretch the right leg back to the sky. And exhale. Release the right foot down. Let's take the other side. Right foot stays down. Left leg lifts up. And remember, it doesn't have to be fully straightened. Interlace your hands behind your left hamstring. Flex your toes down towards your shin. Your right knee can stay bent. You can stretch your right leg long onto the floor. So you're making this L with your legs. Soften your shoulders. Take another breath in. On the exhale, you can hug that left thigh in towards you a little. Maybe it's just a, a micro movement today. And bend your right knee again. Plant your right foot on the ground. Let's figure four on the left side. Lift the right foot away from the earth and interlace your hands somewhere behind the right thigh or in front of the right shin. Breathe into sensation. One more breath here. Let's go ahead and release this. Stretch the left leg to the sky, release the left foot. i hug the knees back in towards your body. Any movement here is welcome. You can even create some little circles with your knees. All right, then hold tight, guys. We're gonna stretch our legs straight up to the sky. And if you want a little more support, you can lift your hips and take your hands underneath your seat or underneath your hips. Okay, so we're going to hug the navel down towards the spine, connecting to our core, connecting to our center, right? And we want each of these movements to uh, um, move from that space, from your middle. So let's take a breath in on the exhale, lower the right heel down towards the earth to hover. And your legs are making that kind of L shape again. And lift the right heel up to meet the left and lower the left leg. Then lift the left leg up, and we're just going to move like that for a few breaths. You find your own pace. We'll be here for about another three rounds of breathing. And again, we're moving from our center. And one more. Beautiful, guys. Now stay here. Hug the legs towards each other like they're one leg. Then we're going to lower the legs down. No, the higher the legs, the less intensity. The lower the legs, the more intense it is, right? So hug that low belly down towards the ground and up towards your heart. Zip up your legs. Stay here. We're going to curl our shoulders off the ground and gaze towards the toes. Press your lower back into the earth as you drive your navel down towards your spine. Stay with it. Then we're going to start to flutter the legs a little bit. You can lower to create a little more intensity there. We'll be here for five, four, three, two, one. Hold. And then release your shoulders back and hug your knees in towards your body. Rock a little bit from side to side. Drop your feet, keep your knees bent to the sky, lift up into a little baby bridge. Not your highest bridge, we're starting just to open up the front of the body. 
Breathe in and breathe out. Lower your spine, hug your knees back in towards you. All right, now we're gonna rock up and down the length of the spine. Take a, a few rocks. Then as you come forward the next time, see if you can land in Navasana, boat pose, with the shins parallel to the ground. You can grab behind the thighs if you need some support or reach your arms forward. But lift your sternum up and hug your low belly in and up. Soften your shoulders. Connect with your breathing. One more inhale. Then exhale. We're going to cross the shins and move it back to tabletop. So bring your knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders. Knees are about hip width distance apart. Cool. From there, we're going to move to cow and cat. Inhale, drop the belly, drag your heart forward and up, arching your back, cow pose. As you breathe out, emphasize the rounding, lifting your navel up towards the spine and protracting the shoulders. Again, like that, inhale, drop the belly, open your chest, breathe in. And exhale, give it that big scoop and round as you breathe out. Now take the next couple of rounds on your own and make it your own, right? This is your practice. If you need to move a little outside of the box this morning, then go ahead and find that freedom. If you have an ujjayi pranayama practice, then go ahead and bring that in now. That slight constriction in the back of your throat. Oceanic sound. All right, and the next time you rock back, go ahead and widen your knees and find your child's pose this morning. And know that this is always a place to come back to, even if I'm not calling it out, to, to feel your steady. Drop your head, reach your arm bones forward. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, let it go. All right. Or come forward back into that tabletop, knees underneath hips. And navel draws up in towards the spine. Hug your ribs together to feel connection there. Stay there and lengthen your waist. Stretch your left leg up and back with your toes pointing down and your hips level. Reach your right arm forward. Someone called this sunbird. I'm going to stick with that. I like that. So reaching in opposite directions. Fill up through your lower back. So hug up and in. One more breath there. Exhale, release your right hand, left knee. All right, connect to your core and extend your right leg. Point your right toes down and reach your left arm forward. And hug your waist in. Stretch out in opposite directions. And stay for one more breath in. And exhale, release down. <laughs> Breathe out. Awesome job. Tuck your toes. Bring your hands underneath you. Here we go. We're going to add a little bit of more warmth to the belly before we start moving. Press into your finger pads. Lift your knees about an inch away from the ground to hover, gazing towards the top of your mat so your neck is not just hanging down below your shoulders, so you're here, feeling integrated, hugging everything in, but also breathing. Stay with it, yogis. If your mind starts to create a story, you just come right back to your breathing. One more breath in, one more breath out. It's an inhale, downward facing dog to exhale. Woo, walk your hands out, walk your feet out, whatever you need to find your down dog today. So just move like you for a few breaths. That means pedaling your feet or shifting a little weight from side to side. Then, you know, you do that. Ah, all right, so from downward facing dog, Let's take a pause. Press your arm bones down and forward, pressing into the hands. Heels heavy towards the ground. There could be some softness or bent, bent knees happening there. That's totally cool. Lift through the seat, head low. Downward facing dog. You're gonna walk your hands all the way back towards your feet and forward fold at the back of the mat. If you need to widen your stance and widen your stance, drop your belly down towards your thighs and just let go of your spine. You're welcome to catch opposite elbows, rag doll. Releasing any expectations of your body or the practice here, just breathing yourself back into now, back here, this moment. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, drop the hands, 
Inhale, halfway lift, maybe hands to shins, pull your heart forward, thigh bone back. Exhale, fold over your legs, breathe out. Walk it back to downward facing dog. Really mindfully coming back into our steady dog here. Pressing through the palms, lift your right leg high to the ceiling. Let's take a three-legged dog. Roll your inner thigh, right inner thigh up to the sky today. So we're working with that. Take a breath in. And exhale, curl your knee in towards your nose, press the earth away like cat pose. One more like that, inhale, right leg to the sky. And exhale, curl knee in towards the nose. This time you're going to look forward and step the right foot in between the thumbs. Drop the left knee down and Anjaneya Asana from here. Lift your chest, sweep your arms up and breathe in to your hips. Soften your shoulders, relax your jaw. Good. Move a little weight to that front foot, but keep connection towards, uh, navel towards spine there. Wrap your right arm underneath your left. Maybe it looks like a bear hug today, or it's eagle wrap. And the back of the palms could meet, or even the, the palms could meet each other here. All right, from here, take a breath in. Lift your elbows, a little back bend. And exhale, come forward, release the hands. Frame your front foot. Tuck your back toe if it isn't already. Lift the back thigh. Left hand stays grounded. Right arm stretches to the sky. Legs twist. So the legs stay stable and the twist comes from the navel out through the crown. One more breath in. Exhale. Release the right hand down. All right. Here we go. You're going to step that left foot out to the right into a curtsy. So it looks like this. Just like that. You don't have to make the sound effect. But bend your knees, open your chest, and wing your arms back. So curtsy here. Take a breath in. Drop your hands on the breath out. Stretch your left leg back, low lunge. And then it's a three-legged dog. Sweep that right leg up and back. Big inhale. Right foot meets left, downward facing dog. All right, let's hold there. Left leg to the sky, big breath in. Curl knee in and towards your nose and breathe out. One more like that. Inhale, left leg up. Inner thigh rolling towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl in knee to nose and we'll step it through. Drop the right knee. Lift your chest. Sweep your arms up. Anjaneya Asana this side. You're welcome to lower the hips. Keep the connection at the belly. Breathe in. Exhale this time. Left arm underneath right for that eagle wrap or your variation of that. Stay steady in your foundation. Lift your elbows. Take a big breath in. And then exhale. Let's lower those hands down to the ground. Tuck your back toe. Lift your back thigh. And left arm reaches up. It's twist. Drag your left hip crease back. Widen through your shoulders. One more breath there. And let's release it down. Breathe out. All right. We're going to step that right foot out to the left, right knee behind left into that curtsy. Wing the arms back, keep the collarbones wide. Take one breath in, drop your hands down to the floor, right leg steps back, low lunge, three-legged dog. Sweeping that left leg up and back, big breath, downward facing dog. Breathe out. All right, pull forward, plank pose. So here we are, pressing the earth away with our hands. So there's some space between your shoulder blades, gazing towards the top of the mat. Hug your pubic bone up towards your low ribs. So lengthen your tailbone back towards your heels. Now cinch up your waist, hug your ribs together. Take one more breath there. Drop your knees, child's pose, hips back towards heels. <laughs> Breathe up. Rock forward, tabletop. Maybe a cow pose, dropping the belly, lifting the chest. And we're right back to downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Come high into the tiptoes, please. And we're gonna bend the knees. You can take some steps or a hop to the front of the back today. Bend the knees, step, hop or float. Once you get there, inhale halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow over the leg, Utanas. And bend your knees a lot. Roll up or rise up. Stretch the arms out wide. 
Reach the fingertips up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale. The palms meet at the heart center. The center, right? So sometimes our center doesn't feel like our belly. It feels like our heart center. And that's where we get drawn into. So whatever feels like center for you today, let's move from that place. Okay, cool. Now, find your steady Tadasana at the front. Just noticed. I'm going to step you back a little bit. So we can get a better angle. Sorry, friends. All right, now we're good. So from your Tadasana, sweep your arms up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, step your right leg back, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe out. Pull forward into plank pose. Plank pose, hold. You're welcome to drop the knees or lower down as one unit all the way to the floor. Once you get there, baby cobra, tops of the feet on the ground, lifting through your chest. So the tops of the feet are earth, but the knees are lifted. One more breathe in. Exhale and move it back. Downward facing dog. <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Right leg high to the sky. Big lift. Exhale. Curl your knee in towards your nose, step it forward, low lunge. Take a breath here, left foot outside the right into that curtsy. Keep your arm bones reaching back and the heart reaching forward. This time we're gonna stand tall, left foot meets right, right back up to that tall mountain, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, breathe out. All right, left side, inhale, stretch the arms up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank pose. Now it's your option. It's chaturanga or all the way down to the belly. Inhale, cobra up dog. Lift up through your chest. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Left leg to the sky, breathe it in. Exhale, knee towards your nose, step it through. Take a breath here. Curtsy your right foot over to the left. Wing your arms back. Stand tall, reach up. Big, tall mountain, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, breathe out. All right, we're just gonna flow with that. Go on your pace and your breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up, big breath up. Exhale, fold over your legs, breathe out. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank pose. Try to round if you want it. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, scoop from the low belly, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Curtsy, left foot behind right, wing the arms back. Stand tall, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, breathe out. Inhale, stretch the arms up, bird bahastasana. Exhale, forward fold, uttanasana. Inhale, left leg back, low lunge. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Shift forward, plank pose, chaturanga if you want it. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg to the sky, breathe in. Curl your knee in towards your nose, step through, low lunge. Curtsy kick that right foot behind the left, wing the arms back. Stand tall, urdhva hastasana, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, breathe out. Stay here, settle into your breathing, settle into your legs. Chair pose, utkatasana. I'm gonna bring my big toes together, leave some space into my heels, in between my heels, but you're welcome to widen your stance. Move your hips back, reach your arms forward or up by your ears. Now here you wanna hug your ribs towards each other and pull the front ribs down, connecting right back in towards that middle. Soften your shoulders, sit a little deeper if you can, add a little more breathing. Wing your arms back. Stretch your fingertips away from your chest. Shift a little weight to the balls of the feet and lift the heels here. Hug the ankles towards each other and scoop up through the navel point. You've got it. One more breath there. Set on the heels. It's chair pose. Stand tall. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift this time. Step, float, jump back, plank pose. And remember, this 
Vinyasa can be anything that feels good on your body today. If you want to skip chaturangas, and skip chaturangas. If you want to add, then add, right? You could also make it a child's pose at any time. Deep breath in, easy breath out. Let's build a flow, friends. Right leg high to the ceiling, reach it up. Exhale, step it through. We're going right to warrior one. Back foot grounds at a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> Front knee bent over the right ankle. So draw your right hip crease back. Let's get steady there. Left ribs move forward and then you reach the arms up. Palms can touch if you like, you know, it's your choice. Sit into your legs, find a steady point in front of you. Take a breath in. We're gonna lean forward and wing the arms back. Breathe out. You've got it, just like that little flying warrior one. Then we're gonna rise up and move to warrior two. Now my feet will need to adjust. I'm going to widen my stance and then set into my warrior two legs. Heel to arch or heel to heel. Right fingertips reach forward, warrior two. You've got it. Flip your front palm, peaceful warrior, as you lift up and back. Take a breath in. And then we're going to flow, vinyasa, if you want it. Chaturanga, maybe to a three-legged dog. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, I'm sticking with cobras for now. I just feel better in my body. And you do you. All right, left side, left leg high, inhale. Exhale, let's step the left foot forward, back foot grounds. We're moving to warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Now I leave some space between my feet because my hips like that, which is square forward. And square the ribs, and then reach up from there. Sit into the strength of your legs, take a breath in. Lean forward, bring your arms back as you dip your chest towards your mat. You've got it. On a breath in, we're going to uh, come on up, warrior two. Adjust your stance mindfully, and then from the center of your heart, your arms extend out, right? So we're really pressing that energy away from the middle. One more breath in your warrior two. Flip your front palm. It's a peaceful warrior as you lift through the left ribs, and then your flow on the breath out. That vinyasa transition, chaturanga, cobra up dog, knees, chest, chin. I love that about yoga. There's something for everyone. Deep breath in, easy breath out. All right, that's the flow set up, and we're just going to move from there. Inhale, right leg high to the ceiling. Exhale, step it through. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Reaching up to the sky. Set your legs, take a breath in. Wing your arms back, dip your chest forward, breathe out. Warrior two, as we come on up, circle the arms around, pause there. Lift your front palm, it's peaceful warriors, you lift your right side body. Side angle this time, shift forward, forearm to thigh. That top arm reaches over the ear for extended variation. All right, seal that left foot down to the ground. So you want some resistance in that back leg. Then hold here. Now hug your pubic bone up towards your front ribs. Connect to your center. We're gonna reach that bottom arm forward like we're holding like this beach ball or this big spirit ball out in front of us, whatever you wanna call it today. So connecting right to your core, soothing this with your breath. One more hold here. Straighten that front leg. Tip the left hand back as you reach the right fingertips up, and it's a reverse triangle. Woo, just enjoy that stretch. One more breath in, and it's a vinyasa here. And again, you might just be moving right back to down dog. Totally cool. You can skip all the in-between, and settle your, your breath in your downward facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Left leg high, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot through to warrior one this side. Seal your feet, lift your chest, arms reach overhead. Take a breath in, wing the arms back as you lean forward. And inhale, brings you up to warrior two. Mindfully adjusting your stance. Flip your front palm, a peaceful warrior, breathe in. Moving to side angle, so there's a little reach. And then forearm to thigh, right arm reaches up and over. Of course, of course, if you're going lower, you're welcome to do that or find your blocks. Sit into the strength of your legs. 
Tap into your core. We're going to reach that left arm forward so that our arms are framing our ears. You've got it. Now here, soften your shoulders, soften your gaze. Keep on breathing. You've got it. Now we'll straighten that front leg, tip it up and back, reverse triangle. Woo! Good stretch. Breathe it. Then it's a vinyasa, friends. Your flow. Back home to breath. Back home to yourself. All right. Tucking toes, lifting hips. Let's go. We're going to keep adding on. If you have your blocks, you're welcome to bring them out to the front of your mat. Right? Deep breath in. Easy breath out. Right leg high to the ceiling. Big reach. Exhale. Knee in towards your nose. Step it through. Warrior one. Rise from the ground. Reach the arms up. Big breath. Lean forward. Sweep the arms behind you. Breathe out. Inhale. Warrior two. Finding that flow. Warrior two. Peaceful warriors, you flip it up and back, breathe in. Right back to your side angle. Deep in your lunge, sweep the top arm over. Right into that core supported side angle, reaching the arms forward, but softening your shoulders. Straight that front leg, tip it up and back, big reverse triangle. Here's where we change it up, guys. As you lift up, you're gonna heel toe that back foot towards the front of your mat. Look down, spot your block or the floor, moving to Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So I like to keep my gaze down to start, and maybe on my unstable days, I keep my gaze down. That's totally cool, or I can move it to neutral. Then sweep your arm up. Any variation of this, friends. Whatever brings or sparks joy in your practice. But I really want you to expand your energy out through all of your limbs from that deepest center point of yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. So lovely, guys. We're moving to standing split. I want you to lower your left hand. Maybe you're finding your block. So the shoulder's square. And then lower your left hip down to meet your right hip. Yeah? Left toes pointing down to the ground, so it's more of an L stand. You've got it. Stay there, take a breath in, and then you can fold a little more over your right leg if you haven't already. Awesome. Take a breath in, halfway lift. Soften into that right knee. Left foot meets right into chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, sink your weight back, and stretch your arms forward or up. So good. All right. You're going to settle into that left foot. The right thigh lifts up and wraps around the left for eagle. Right arm underneath left, or you come back to that bear hug. Now there's compression here. There's meeting at the center line. So hug your elbows towards each other. Hug your inner thighs towards each other. And maybe sit your hips back and pull your chest forward. Think cobra or up dog. One more steady round of breath here. All right. Lift the right knee up towards your chest. Hold up. Let's step it. Right foot behind the left. Curtsy. Unwind the arms, wing them back, opening up through your chest. You've got it. Drop your hands down. Step your right leg back, low lunge. Keep your right hand down and spin all ten toes over to the left. Yeah? Right hand down, all ten toes over to the left. You're in this little kind of supported side plane. And you can stay here or you can walk that left foot to meet the right and come into a full side plank. Ah, so good. Lift your right hip away from the ground. Take a breath in and exhale. Weave that left arm underneath you and then back up to the sky. Yes, just like that. Weave the left arm underneath your, underneath your right wrist and then back up to the sky. Beautiful, friends. Three more. Stay with your breathing. Two, zip up your inner thighs. And one. Nice. Hold here. Hold steady. Plank pose. There's a chaturanga here if you want it. Shifting weight forward. Scooping the heart up. Breathe in. Tucking the toes. Lifting the hips as you breathe out. Let's collectively take a, a breath in. Sigh out. Let's get to that other side. Inhale, left leg high. Take a breath up. 
Exhale, step it through. It's warrior one, friends. All the way up, reaching the arms up, warrior one. Take a breath in. Exhale, lean forward, wing your arms back. Inhale, brings you up to warrior two. Widen your stance, stretch out your arms. Flip your front palm, it's peaceful warrior as you breathe up and back. Exhale, side angle pose. Deepen into your lungs, reach the right arm over the ear, fingertips away from the right foot. So good. Now, connect to that core, reach your left arm forward. So we're floating in this side angle. Stay with it. One more breath. Straight through that front leg. Tip it up and back. Reverse triangle. Now we're moving to half moon. So take your time. Heel toe back, back, back foot in. Spot the floor, your block. It's a little forward and out to the side. So you give yourself some space, right? Put that block right underneath your shoulder. And then start to peel ourselves open. Yes. See if you can expand your breath, even past your physical body. Feel the energy expand through your limbs. One more breath. Okay, we're going to move slowly, mindfully, into that standing split. Lower your right shoulder, release your right hand, and level your pelvis, yeah? So the right toes are pointing down, inner right thigh rolling up. Now you can bow in a little bit deeper over that left leg. Keep some firmness in that floating leg. All right, don't forget about that guy. One more breath there. All right, lift your chest. Soften your left knee. Right knee hugs in and steps into your chair pose, that deep seat. Hip creases back, heart reaching forward, arms to the sky. Keep your right foot grounded. Lift your left leg, wrap your left thigh, round your right, left arm underneath right for the eagle bind. Or that bear hug, right? Your variation of this practice. Settle your jaw, soften your gaze. Pull your chest forward as much as you're moving your hips back. Then squeeze everything in towards the midline. Stay for one more breath, yogis. So beautiful, you guys have got it. Then lift that left knee up towards your chest. Curtsy kick that left foot over to the right. Wing your arms and dip your chest. Woo, we have arrived. Drop your hands. Left foot steps back, low lunge. Now, side plank action on that left side. First, we're gonna swivel all 10 toes over to the right. And this is a great hip opener, I love this spot right here. You can definitely play with this and explore the edges of this. We're going to walk it back to that side plank. If your feet are stacked, flex your toes up towards your face. Shoulder blades together, low belly hugged in. Now we're going to move. Breathe in. We're going to curl that right arm underneath your left roots and then back up to the sky. Yes, good. And then lower and then lift. Woo. And three, Two, one more friends, you got it, side plank, plank pose, chaturanga if you want it, Woo. inhale, cobra, dog, child pose or down dog, you could always just sit on your heels like I'm doing, this is my place of rest, it just feels natural for me, so I'll Stay here and you're welcome to find your space. Whatever brings you back home to yourself, what calms your body, brings you back to your practice. <clears throat> Let's take a deep breath in together. Big exhale. All right, I'm gonna have a sip of water. I'll meet you guys in downward facing dog. Doggy. All right, from here, right leg up, take a breath in, yep, bend your knee in towards your chest and step it forward, low lunge. We're moving to high crescent, back heel stays lifted this time, we lift our chest and reach our arms up, you've got it, yep, hug your inner thighs towards each other, and we're going to move to warrior three, 
take your time. I like to set my back foot forward a little, lean forward, and then start to extend my back leg, reach my ears forward, grow my ribs out of the waist. And if you want, you can take a different arm variation than airplane. You could reach them forward for a little more core work. You keep rolling that left inner thigh up towards the ceiling, leveling your hips. And stay for one more focused breath here. You've got it. Nice. Drop the hands down to the ground, standing split. Breathing in, breathing out. Left knee is going to move over outside that right ankle. And you're going to sit down into a twist. Yeah? So right foot is over left knee. Find your sitting bones underneath you. Right hand down. Left arm reaches up. Take a breath in. And now let's twist. And you can hug that knee, or you can take that left elbow to the outer edge of that right thigh and really spiral your heart open. And inhale, lengthens the spine up to the crown. The exhale rinses you out. Let's come back to center, guys. Chest forward, inhale. And drop the hands gently over to the other side for a little counter stretch. Cool. All right. Unravel the legs. Back to that boat pose. Navasana. Hello. Lift your legs. Sweep your low belly in and up towards your sternum. Zip up your legs. Reach your arms forward. Whoo! So good. Keep that spine nice and long. But lower to that low boat. Lower your low back onto the floor. Keep your shoulders and heels hovering. Arms could be hugging your thighs or arms could be over the head, bicep by ears, which is a little more intense. So we're holding this hollow body, right? It's like a canoe. There's a scoop there right at your center. Stay with it, friends. We're here for five, four. Keep the action in the belly for three, two, and one. Good. Come back up to boat pose. You've got it. Nice. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And let's take some rocking motion up and down the length of your spine. Take it a couple times. We're going to try to meet in chair pose with no hands. And let it just be playful. Just enjoy the experience. So here we go. Right to chair. Ooh, settle your hips. Lift your heart. You've got it. Hug your front ribs in. Take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe out. Inhale, halfway. It's chaturanga. Maybe cobra up dog to stretch out that belly. Woo, lift your chest. Open your heart. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Left leg high. Inhale. Curl knee in towards your chest. It's high crescent this time. Back heel stays lifted. Yeah? All right. Lengthen the tailbone a little bit, hug your pubic bone, zip it up towards your front ribs. And here we are, right back in this balance. Okay, arms reach up. We're moving into warrior three. Step that back foot in, start to shift the weight to the front foot. I like to fly my arms back first, but you decide where you want your arms to be. They could even be right here at your heart center, right? Thumbs connected to your sternum. Elongate your legs. Think cobra or up dog in the front body. Roll the right thigh up towards the sky. Now soften what you can and breathe in deep. One more breath. Start to slowly float down, standing split. Keep some action in that floating leg. Breathe in and breathe out. You've got it. Now right knee over to the left. Right knee outside that left ankle. Yeah, coming into that seated twist and sit your sitting bones down. And if it didn't all come together magically, don't worry. We have our left foot over our right thigh, sitting bones grounded. Left hand behind you like a little kickstand. Ground your seat, lift up your crown, reach the arm up, breathe in, we're going to twist. And could we allow this just to be a physical representation of representation of 
letting go. Letting go of what we no longer need, what doesn't support us anymore, what doesn't serve us in any way. One more breath in, one more breath out. All right, let's come back to center, inhale. You do a little counter twist over to the right. Unwind your legs. Set your feet down in front of you. This time we're skipping the boat. We're gonna move to a reverse tabletop. So feet out in front of you, hands behind you. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Fingertips point towards the hips or some people like to change up the wrist. That's cool with me as long as it feels comfortable. Puff up through the chest. Press down through all four corners of the feet and the hands to lift up into reverse tabletop. Cool, you've got it. Press down through your points of contact and begin to expand open through the chest and thighs and hips. If you wanna roll your throat open and that's cool with your neck, let's do that. All right, here we go. A big release, deep breath in through your nose. Lion's breath, stick your tongue out. Lower your hips down and breathe out. Awesome job, guys. All right, bring the soles of your feet together here, knees out wide, and just drop your body forward. You can keep your spine long as you stretch your chest towards your toes and hinge at the hips. Breathe in and breathe out. We're taking one more round of back bends, guys. If you want to come back into that reverse tabletop, keep the knees bent, cool. I'm going to offer you a different variation. It's a little more intense, just stretch the legs long. Place the hands behind you. Point the toes down towards the ground. We're going to lift from there. Heels ground, hips lift, palms press away. Now if you're in the long extended version, point your toes down to the ground and lift through your hips. Maybe open your throat if you like. Full breath in through the nose. Lions breath out. Lower your hips down. Let it go. Bend your knees, place your feet into that Baddha Konasana one more time. Lead it through your spine, breathe in. Four fold, gently over your legs. Breathe out. Lift up through your chest, cross your shins, roll over your hips, and step back, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pull forward into plank pose. So before we really start to let go and find some more yin posture, some deeper stretching, I'm gonna bring ourselves right back towards our center. Press the earth away, plank pose. Gazing forward, collarbones wide, Hug your pubic bone up towards your low ribs. Lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. Now drag your hands towards your toes and your toes towards your hands. Feel everything connect at the center like you're gonna scrunch up your mat to the middle. One more breath there. Drop the knees, child's pose. Hips back towards you. Breathe in, breathe out. Come forward, tabletop, little cow and cat movement, anything you like. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high to the ceiling, big breath in. Curl your knee in towards your nose. Step your right knee gently to the back of your right wrist, slightly outside of it. Left knee crawls back. Square your hips, square your chest, take a breath in. And you're welcome to stay active and lifted if, if that energy is there to move and to open. But if you're ready to surrender and rest, come forward, maybe build a little pillow with your forearms. Take a scan of the body. Notice where you might be holding tension. Connect to your deep extended breathing. 
See if you can soften those edges. Release those grips. One more breath in, one more breath out. Lift up onto your palms, lift your chest. So you're still in pigeon pose. Slide to the outer edge of that right hip. You're gonna extend that left leg out wide. So the sole of the right foot meets the left inner thigh, left toes gently flexed up, yeah? Okay. Come back to the center. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Take a big breath in. You're going to turn your torso towards the left. There's a little twist there. Then exhale, bow over your left leg. For my friends that would like to release a little more lower back tension, if you're good here, stay here. Or take your right hand outside the left foot toward the knife edge. Hold there, and then scoop your low belly up and in as you round the upper back, deepening the stretch between your lower right ribs and your hip. Breathe in deep wherever you are. Everyone release, lift back up, stargazer, right hand behind you for support, Lift your shin, sweep up your left arm, take a big breath in. Then exhale, lower the hips and breathe out. Cross your shins, let's go back. Downward facing dog. For those of you that want a vinyasa to the other side, please, please honor your practice. All right, left leg up, big breath in. Let's step it through into half pigeon, left knee behind left wrist. Settle the shin bone at a good angle for your knee and your hip. Curl your right knee back, top of the right foot on the ground. Square yourself up to the front. And we're gonna come forward when you're ready. Ready for that surrender, ready for that release. Sometimes if my jaw gets really tense around these hip openers, I like to flutter my lifts, that help. Give your weight to the floor. Notice if you're holding yourself up in some way. Let your shoulders relax. Your middle back soften. The outer edge of your left hip gets heavy. And your right leg is grounded. So your whole body is spilling onto the floor. We'll take one more breath in and one more breath out. All right, let's lift back up into that pigeon. Hang tight, guys, please. Right here, we're going to scooch to the outer edge of that left butt cheek or left hip and stretch that right leg out wide. So it's a wider Johnny Shrichasana. Looks like my leg is melded into this mat with a dark color, but my leg is a little wider. My right foot is flexed to the sky. All right. Let's take a breath in, reach up, some length, ribs out of waist, and we'll take that little twist over to the right. So we bow over our right leg. And your hands don't need to, need to meet your foot. You know, you just let them land where they naturally need to go. And if you want to try that variation on the other side, the left hand reaches to the pinky edge side of your foot. Ground your left hip. Then think cat in your body, just a little cat. One more breath in, one more breath out. All right, let's release guys. Left hand behind.
behind you. Find that support of your legs. Stargazer, reaching up and back. All right, let's lower down to our hips. Cross over the legs. Last vinyasa or just down dog. And drop the knees, child's pose. Come back to sit on your heels and your chest. Now you're sitting on your shins. Scoot your hips over to one side and extend your legs out in front of you. Move your hips forward. We're coming onto our backs. We're coming right back, full circle, onto our backs. Hug your knees in towards your body. Enjoy a little rock and a little roll. <clears throat> Drop the feet, keep the knees bent, lift the hips about an inch, scoot them over to the right, just a little. Now the knees are going to fall over to the left. You're welcome to stretch your arms out to a T or cactus. And the gaze can look neutral or away from the knees. Draw your attention back onto that navel center. Inhale, come back to the middle, back to center. Drop your feet, situate your hips so they're neutral again. Lift your hips, move them over to the left. And let's let the knees fall gently to the right. Of course, any variation of these twists that feels good for your body, please um, adjust, modify. Come back to the center. Hug your knees tightly in towards you. Situate your hips. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're welcome to take a happy baby here or any other last movements that was, would support a more restful Shavasana. Because before we can move from a stable place, we have to get stable in our minds, in our bodies. Find our steady, find our calm. And then those qualities will meet us outside in the world. All right. I'm moving towards Shavasana, extending my legs. You're welcome to gather your props or take legs up the wall. Arms outside your body. Close your eyes. You're welcome to take your deepest breath in here. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Sink your weight into the floor. Shavasana. I encourage you to stay as long as you need. Continue to enjoy your rest and your space of peace. I'll conclude practice here with you all. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Thank you for supporting our Black Swan community with so much gratitude from my heart, namaste.